Now we have different kinds of data models. What is a data model? Data model is a linkage between the real world domain of the geographic data and computer representation. To understand it in a more better way, this is the real world condition. And this is the image that has been taken by the satellite. It's in the raster format. It's, it's pixelated in the form of cells. Now this is the elevation. This is also the raster data. Now on uh, now when we uh, from the raster data when we define areas uh, like forest area, agriculture area on uh, you know in the form of x and y set of x and y we call that that as raster uh, vector data and we take out streets from that area we call that as vector data and we uh, have the data from from this real world and from the, from the raster we have the set of customers where they are actually placed we have a data set which is called as a vector so this all this represents vector data set and all this represents raster data set both have been have the origin from the real world so this is the uh, raster data model and this is the vector data model so to understand it uh, in a more better way raster data consists of rows and columns of cells which with each cell storing a single value and additional values recorded for each cell may be discrete values such as land use continuous values such as temperature or any other such variable now vector data is already told vector data uses line segments or points represented by their explicit x and y coordinates to identify locations discrete objects are formed by connecting line segments and the area is defined by a set of line segments like point line and this is your polygon this is the representation special representation of raster data model and vector data model as we know each uh, physical feature on the earth can be represented either by a point or by a line or by a polygon feature so how we are going to represent that in vector data model and in raster data model in vector data model it will be like this point and the line will be you know a series of those x y uh, those points and area will be when all these points are joined with each other this is the representation of vector model and how about the ra raster model rast in ra because raster model is made up of pixels is made up of cells uh, as in case of the satellite image so the point will be represented by one cell and line will be represented by a series of cells such cells and area will be represented by all the pixels or all the cells you know uh, which uh, uh, are joined by by uh, you know, which are joined uh, within the boundary of that particular area this is how we understand vector data model and raster data model and representation of spatial information now there are certain advantages of vectors there is a good representation vectors have a good representation being uh, shown in the xy format xy uh, you know format it's a compact data structure topology can be completely described with network link linkages we'll talk about top topology in the coming slides and graphics are very accurate retrieval and generalization of graphics and attributes is possible now on at the same end we have uh, advantage of raster it's a simple data structure overlay is very easy we will talk about overlay in the coming uh, lectures various kinds of spatial analysis are easy simulation finding the missing values is easy the technology is cheap and at the same time we have advantage we can have disadvantages also it's a complex data structure combination of several vector polygons creates difficulties sometimes simulation is difficult in vector display and plotting can be expensive expensively uh, because of more uh, requirement of more sophisticated hardware and software spatial analysis and filtering within the polygons is not possible as in case of uh, you know uh, raster and what are the disadvantages of uh, raster 
volumes of graphic data it takes you uh, takes whole of your storage uh, to store raster data as uh, in the storage runs into many gbs the use of large cells uh, to reduce data volumes means phenom phenomenologically uh, data reduction is, is is very difficult recognizable structures can be lost and there can be a serious loss of information while processing crude raster maps are considered and are less beautiful as here in uh, uh, you know uh, the case of a uh, vector the graphics are very accurate network linkages are difficult to establish which are very easy in vector and uh, you know projection transformation are time consuming unless special uh, algorithms are or hardware are used so these